Welcome to episode 8 of Rookie Designer Video Tips. My name is Jake Van Ness. In today's episode, I thought I'd address a question that came to us on Facebook. And what the question had to do with was vertical alignment of text boxes. So let's read the question from Paul. In CS3, when I have, say, four blocks of color stacked at different gaps vertically, and I want to align them with even spacing, I select them all and click on the vertical distribute space icon. Third row in the align palette. Works great. However, when I have four text boxes and one may be taller than the rest because I manually pulled it further open and try the same thing, it distributes the four text boxes based on the height of the text box itself, not the baseline of the last line in the text box. Any idea how I can make this work? Thanks, Paul. Well, Paul, part of the problem is that the alignment tool in the distribute space tool specifically is actually based on the text box, not on the content of the text box. So let me show you what I mean. Start with a new document. And first I'm going to show you what he was talking about with the color boxes. So I'm going to make a box, fill it with a color, and I'll make three more really quick. And we'll just make this last one a little bit bigger. So as you can see, the spacing vertically is not the same between each box. So if I select all of them, go over to the Align palette, and select this icon under the Distribute Spacing, and right now I have it aligned to margins, you can see the gaps are now the same. The problem is with the text boxes is, as I said, it's based on the frame. So as you can see here, because it's a full color box, you don't really notice the problem. So let me show you what the issue was that he was having. We'll start with a text box, and I'm just going to fill it with placeholder text. And then we're just going to make three more boxes. And then I'll make this one a little bit bigger. So as you can see, we have space between the baseline, the last line of the text box, and the bottom of the box. So if I select all of these and I go back and use that same icon, as you can see, if I hide everything, the gap between the second one and the third one is bigger than any of the rest of them. And the reason for that is because when you see the boxes, the gap is the same. And it's based on the bottom of the frame, not the bottom of the text. So a way that you can actually make this work for you is you want to fit your frame to your text. And to do that, select your frame, go to Object, Fitting, Fit Frame to Content. And as you can see, it's nice and tight around the content now. Now we want to do this with the rest of them so they're all the same. So we'll select all three and do the same thing again. Object, Fitting, Fit Frame to Content. So now they're all the same size and they're all nice and tight and the bottom line is the bottom of the text frame. So now if I select all four and I distribute, you can see that it moved the second one and the fourth one down a little bit. And now when I hide everything, the spacing is the same. So basically what it comes down to is you need your frame to be nice and tight around your text so that it does do the distribution correctly. So I hope that helps you out, Paul, and I hope that taught somebody else something new. Do you have a question or a video tip that you'd like to see done? Please let me know at jake at rookiedesigner.com. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash rookiedesigner. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash rookiedesigner. Thanks for joining me, and see you next time.